The December 2013 ice storm had a lot of impact on the GTA. It is currently October 2014 and that was uh, that puts the ice storm at 10 months ago. Uh, the impacts were a lot of damaged and broken trees, some complete tray failure and it it's not a, a short-term impact. Uh, like I said it's still October and our crews are still on a weekly basis attending to one or two projects where we are repairing or correcting uh, ice storm damage in tree populations. We saw a great deal of damage in your soft wooded trees or your trees that have long arching branches and a lot of twiggy habit at the ends of those branches. So birches for example. Because they had so many twigs at the ends of branches it created a more surface area for ice to build up on and it put all of that additional weight of ice on the end of the branch uh, so birch is bent over. Your trees that suffered the least impact were oaks, uh, sugar maples, your, your favorable native hardwoods uh, were le less impacted by the ice. You saw a lot of trees that had existing defects that could no longer support the additional weight uh, that failed due to that extra ice. Another interesting anomaly from the ice storm that we saw are those trees that had uh, a good management history behind them, had less failures if none at all. A case in point would be an example of which would be a customer of ours in downtown Toronto who has two very large Norway maples. Norway maples aren't a hardwood per se. Throughout Toronto a lot of Norway maples had damaged branches. Uh, these two trees, we had performed uh, one to two meter canopy reductions over the last six, seven years. We, we've cycled that twice. So the canopies were well managed, slight reductions, nothing drastic. But in reviewing those trees after the ice storm, that customer had maybe two or three uh, small three inch diameter branches break out of these trees. Whereas the neighboring property, which is a historical property within the city of Toronto, large tree population, not a great deal of budget to maintain their trees, they had extensive damage on their tree population. In fact, our crews spent almost three days cleaning up the tree debris on that property. Uh, so that uh, was a testament to uh, the principle of managing your trees, uh, also a testament to the efficacy of canopy reduction in helping manage risks and weight loads in, in tree populations.